What's up everyone, my name is Andrew and welcome back to another reaction video. Today is Tuesday, November 29th and normally I'm not really excited about Tuesdays. They're not entirely the beginning of the week, but they're also like not quite the middle and they're definitely not the end of the week. So they're just kind of there. <laughs> but anyways, this Tuesday is a special Tuesday. Today is a special day because ATs has dropped new music. That's right. ATs has dropped their third Japanese mini album, The World Paradigm, and along with it, the title track Paradigm and the music video for that song. So you know, every time ATs releases new music, we're doing this. I'm reacting to it, you're reacting to me reacting to it. We're all gonna have a fun time. Now, if this is your first time catching one of my videos, welcome. I am so happy that you're here. I'm super grateful that you're taking the time to watch this and I really appreciate it. You should know that I am an at &E through and through. My bias is Jong Ho. My bias wrecker is literally the rest of the group at this point. I love their music. I've covered a number of their songs on guitar. I think it's like 32 or something like that at this point. Like my cover for Thanks was the one that got this whole thing started on YouTube. I love ATs. So of course, I am really excited to dive into this and get into the new music. But first, I wanted to remind everyone that I just recently started channel memberships here on this channel. I've got a whole video explaining all of the details of this and I'll make sure to link it up here. But if you like what I'm doing on this channel and you wanna support me, this is the perfect way to do it. By becoming a member, you get access to the growing community that I'm building on here, plus things like guitar tutorials with tabs, mp3s of my covers and much more and of course i know everyone can't do that and that is totally fine if you haven't already liking this video subscribing to my channel and turning on notifications would mean the world to me and is more than enough support but anyways enough of me talking let's dive into this new song together i love the sound it brings back so many good memories <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Before we get too far in, the only thing that I know about this is that one is in Japanese and then two, which is a given. And then two, I saw some of the teaser images, these black and white images, and they were, uh, they were spicy <laughs> to say the least. And they, the guys look so good. Like I'm, I'm not even like freaking 20 seconds in and Yunho, Yosong just, it's a good, it's a good look for everyone. I can see everyone else in the background. It's gonna be good. What? I'm sorry, what? What was Oh, they, they look so good. And this sounds so good. Marty stank facing. I love this so far. Oh, I love that. I love that. The rhythm of that part that Jong Ho sings. Oh, that like, oh, it's so good. Okay, so first, first of all, the set that they're dancing in front of right now is amazing. I love that. I love how it's going back and forth between color and black and white. It's super cool. But like the, the da -da, I'm, mm, mm, this is gonna, I'm gonna make a fool of myself, but the da -da 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 -da. <clears throat> anyways, those things in the background, those are really cool. It's, it's a very sonically interesting song so far, but I'm gonna stop pausing for now. Let's, let's keep going. What? What was this? Hold on. That, oh, that transition. 
San comes in and then, and then Mingi, and then you, and then you hear the words. Wait for it. You hear it. And you know it's gonna be good. Wait, 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 wait. Is he? Hold on. Let me turn on the subtitles real quick. He's saying, is he saying Pika Pika? Is that what Pika means? Is Flash what Pika means in Japanese? Well, you learn something every day. It's an onomatopoeia for sparkle, glitter, or flash. And that makes a lot more sense as to why Pikachu says that all the time, actually. Thanks, ATs, for helping me learn something about one of my favorite uh, anime fandoms of all time. <laughs> Let's keep going. Oh! Okay, we gotta go back, we gotta go back. I'm gonna, I wanna watch that whole thing without interruption. What was that choreo? That's so freaking sick. Hold on. Oh, and he says glitch and it glitches. Oh. We're back to the suits. Chef's kids. Did any, raise your hand if you felt attacked by Yo Song during that part or the other part before the other course that he did that. All right, now that we've established that, let's uh. <laughs> and the fire, wait, wait, what? This look, I love this black and white look. The vocals in the background, let's go back, let's go back. Yo, this is a spicy song in many ways, but anyways, I, I love this. What was that? So I was distracted by Jong Ho's vocals and I missed what was coming next with the actual visuals. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. With a little harmony at the end? Oh, what? The little harmony. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's interesting. It kind of, it, in a weird way, it kind of reminds me of like an EXO song. Like not a specific song, but it has a little bit of that vibe, but it's also very distinctly ATs. Like you listen to this, 
and you know it's ATs immediately, which you know speaks to everyone involved in the production of these songs and the consistency of the production of these songs. But like, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. This is such an interesting song. Like, man, it's gonna be a lot of fun to cover. So obviously a cover for the song is coming, um, hopefully within a few days of the release of this video. Um, but man, this is, this is really interesting. And it's gonna be very interesting sonically to capture all of the nuances and see, and see how guitar actually fits into this song because it's obviously not a song like Gorilla where you can like do really big guitar chords and chug and solo and shred and stuff. This is gonna be very fun because I'm gonna have to be very intentional about the parts that I write for, for this cover, but I, gosh, I'm so excited. I think one of the really interesting things and the really fun things about this music video in particular, pushing, putting the music aside for a second, like this, obviously the scale of this music video isn't the same as something like the hot music video by 70, or even Gorilla. But I think because of the way this video is edited, and because of the way that they intentionally use effects, it punches way above its like weight class in impact and epicness. Like, if you think about it, this music video is just a few different locations, very simple indoor locations, beautiful locations, but relatively simple. But the thing that makes it special is they're like jumping back and forth between having color and being monochrome. And then they're using really creative transitions like the hand, you know, San's hand going in and Minky's coming out. And then the really subtle, but really cool, like the, there in the second chorus, I think it's, I don't remember, it might be Yunho or Yo Song. One of them, like there's a, there's a beat and they kind of step down and there's some like fire in the bottom left hand corner. And there's like the glitch effect when Hong Jun says the glitch line, like they're little things, but they're done so well that this has the experience and the feel of something with a much larger budget and a much larger production value, like, it's just a testament to how far good editing can take you in a music video. But anyways, enough of me talking. I'm gonna dive into it a second time, and then of course, I've, I'm gonna try to see as many things as I missed the first time because it's so much to take in. And uh, let's see, see what else we can see. <laughs> oh, okay, all right, this is such, a fun establishing shot like i i love this so much like you can tell they're in a room that's it's like one of those you know like infinity rooms where the walls curve up and it gives this sense of just like just immense space and then in the middle of it all is a monochrome yunho and the framing is just like draws your attention into it i oh, i love this and this isn't this isn't like a complicated shot. It's just him standing there and it's just the way that they film it and the way that they frame it. Oh, it's, it's so good. And then all of a sudden they're in color. See, like it's the same room, but like you don't really notice it. Ah, oh, it's so cool. Also, Songwa, I'm so sorry for for pausing right here. And the choreo. And then your song just comes sliding out of there. Ah, there it is. <laughs> I love that. And that's the other thing, like the camera work is so good, at least in this first part of just getting like these seamless transitions of the members coming in and out of frame too, because of the Corey. Oh man, it's so, so good. And like that, like that transit. I'm so sorry. I know I'm stopping a ton, but like, let's just geek out for a second. Watch this transition. And then there's like this camera shake and then all of a sudden we're in a new scene. Ah, oh, it's so freaking cool. <laughs> and then the... First of all, I love this part from Yo Song. So cool. And then you notice there's a there's like a frame or maybe two frames of lightning 
And then all of a sudden, the blue lightning draws you into the fact that there's blue color in the background. Oh, man. The, the camera, the camera move following them. Oh, and the use of slow motion right there, like it slows down for a split second. It's so freaking well done. It's like the little things that just, the spice. It, it adds all the spice in. I, <sighs> and then this hand transition. The break beat behind, oh my gosh. Okay, again. And then he does his hand. Oh, Mingi is so cool. He's so cool. Why can't I be as cool as Mingi? And then there's all of these like film scratches and glitches and like artifacts on the screen and they hide transitions between different like angles. It's just so well done. And then there's like this burn, film burn. And then all of a sudden, you've got Yo Song and Uyong. Oh my gosh. And then I want to talk about musically here. It's this very like atmospheric, kind of spacey vibe, right? And then that like sub bass or the, the kick right there comes in and it hits. It's kind of like, it reminds me a little bit of the vibe of The King, where it's like really, it feels really hardcore, but it's also very spacey and very like spaced out and kind of atmospheric. I, it's, it's weird, but I, oh, I love it. Like I eat this stuff up. <laughs> Oh, and then the part with the glitches. Oh. There's some really interesting chords happening right there. There too, excuse me. Dum, dum. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. The harmonic structure there is really pretty. Oh, and then the, the background vocals there too. I'm not a vocalist, but that is really, really pretty. The, and then they do this move on the snare. Right here. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, so it was Yunho. It was Yunho. Okay. Then he stops and then the fire. Okay, so like, not a, not a lot is happening there. The blue lights are turning red. But instead of just doing that on the beat and having a little camera shake, they also added that fire element in there. Oh my gosh. So cool. And the embers are coming up. Okay, and let's talk about, let's talk about the light shot right there with Songwa. That is a, that is a shot. <laughs> Let me tell you, that is a, that is such a cool shot and such a fun way to use light. It, that is spicy. Let me tell you. And then like, 
And then you get the light. All of a sudden, you're looking at Songwa, and there's this one spotlight coming over his face. And then the very next shot, the lights dim. And you're going from a full color, edgier outfits, this really cool background set with like the, the lights and everything, to black and white, completely empty room. They're in suits, but it works really well because the light comes in, it's like a spotlight. The lights are off and then the spotlight comes back and they're in the center of the room. And it, it's so cool. And then the, the, oh, the lights come in. And this is such a pretty bridge. It's like eight angels singing. Just... <sighs> I need my guitar, but there's some really pretty chord movements happening there too that I need, I'm just really excited to figure out. John Goes vocals, everything. Just like the vocals in this song have been so freaking impressive. I'm like, I'm not surprised, but they're really use, utilizing their voices well for this song, like really, really well. And then, all right, we gotta stop here. So then it does the roll thing. And then all of a sudden, Ooh Young's there. And then you got that really cool, really subtle, but really tastefully done glitch effect. And we all feel attacked by Ooh Young. So raise your hands, we're doing that again. It's me, everyone else. Cool, thought so. <laughs> And that, that subtle harmony that they throw in under San's vocals at the very end is just... <sighs> well, everyone, what more can you say? I, again, I when I do these videos, like I'm always super self-conscious because I know that there's so much musically, but then also so much visually from an editing standpoint, because I have passions obviously for both music and videography that like I'm probably missing. So I'm always self-conscious, like I'm hope I'm, I hope I'm getting everything and I hope I'm like picking up on the important things, but like I could sit here and watch this another 40 times and still probably pick up something new, but man, that was just so enjoyable and I really hope that all of you enjoyed it as well. But man, this song is, is, such, is such a treat. It reminds me of a feeling uh, when you go to an art museum so like art museums are normally really beautiful, contemplative, spacious, like atmospheric buildings and experiences. So it's like when you are in this really pretty art museum, but then you find a painting that's very visually striking and intense. So it's, th it's that dichotomy of like calm and atmospheric and very intense and in your face. And this that's what this song feels like to me. It feels in some ways very intense and very strong and very epic, but also very, sensitive and, and spacey too. So if that makes any sense, I'm, no, I'm just rambling at this point, but I love this song and I love how it, this song makes me feel and I love the musical elements of it too. It's just very interesting and extremely well produced. Man, this is it's just so good. I, I've, I've had so much fun doing this and I hope you've enjoyed this video too. Thank you so much for watching with me and going on this journey with me and experiencing this whole thing. It's so much fun every time I get to do one of these videos. Again, if you haven't already, liking, subscribing, and hitting the bell would mean the world to me. It's really simple, but it does go a really long way to help this channel. And of course, again, thank you so much for being a part of what I do here on YouTube. But let's wrap things up. Until the next video, I'm Andrew, and I'll see you then.